What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here for breakfast. There's something on my face. No, there isn't. My hair's just weird on my, uh... Oh, there's something on my screen. That's the problem. That's embarrassing. Uh, for breakfast, I had a frittata with chorizo. Am I saying that? Is chorizo... Yeah, chorizo meat, and that was pretty tasty. Um, that my mom made, and that was good. Um, this is my haircut, by the way. I got a haircut. Um, and, um, for lunch slash liner, lunch dinner, I'm going to be having, um, a sandwich at work because I'm working today from 12 to 4. We're closing today, so more like 4.30. Um, I have to finish up my schoolwork. I've been procrastinating a little bit because, um, I ended up having to do less work than I expected. And so I'm just like, there's, it's due today, right? But um, I can, I've completed like 90% of it. And so it's just like that little bit extra and I've just been uh, to complete it. And I've just been like, you know, sort of delaying that because I know it'll only take a little bit of time, but now I've got an hour. So, <clears throat> you know, it's a little less time than I would prefer, but I think if I lock in, uh, it, it's gonna be fine. Um, I'm drinking some coffee, and it's black coffee. My mom and I yesterday made a pact to only be drinking black coffee. Um, the only unhealthy thing about coffee, it has some, some negative, uh, it, like it can affect your sleep a little bit, like caffeine consumption. Um, uh, but uh, the only like unhealthy thing about coffee, as in like, uh, sort of like just immediately, like visibly unhealthy thing about coffee is the non-coffee parts. The black stuff is fine. It's just like a weird sort of bean liquid. Um, but the unhealthy, it gets unhealthy when you put cream in it and when you put sugar in it. And I never put sugar in my coffee. I think it's weird for coffee to be sweet unless I get it at Starbucks and it has to taste sweet uh, for it to taste good. Uh, but, you know, I've always put half and half in my, in my coffee. Um, and for Europeans who I don't think have half and half, um, that's half milk, half cream. Uh, uh, and that's a super common thing in the United States. I learned that that's not a very common thing in Europe, but don't quote me on that. I have, the, the, the primary non-American people I've spoken to have either been in Canada, which is basically America, uh, or Europe. So, uh, you know, I, I can't really speak on that, but, or, or, uh, or England, I mean. Uh, so I can't really speak on that. I know that um, if a European is watching my videos, it's uh, not unlikely that they might be German, uh, or from some other European country, um, but whenever I'm speaking to Europeans, at least online, uh, they're they're the primary pri primarily in England, and I'm not. I don't think half and half is a very popular creamer choice um, in England. I'm going to be recording myself doing some of this schoolwork, and I don't think I've recorded myself doing my programming homework, which um, I think is interesting. Uh, I the exposure was a little too high or low that the exposure I, I i set the exposure like i was doing a short video um, but if i'm doing a longer video i have to set the exposure way down to account for the 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 changes in brightness that occur outside um because the only lighting for my videos is natural lighting right so um i have to sort of account for that My parents are going to be coming home from the store at some point. I need to run the dishwasher, one moment. What I was saying is that my parents are going to be coming home from the store and that's likely when I'm gonna to have to end this video. Uh, or um, that's gonna be when uh, I'm going to turn off my microphone audio. This is terrible. Can I close my blinds a little bit to make it a little less bright? Is that gonna change anything? You know what? Yeah, it does. It does. I'm going to close it a little more. A car just went down my road that looks just like my friend's car. Okay, I think I think we're kind of good there. I think I think this is a good brightness level. It's a little bright still. <laughs> Sorry guys.
This is what I do a lot of the time before I record my video. I try to get the lighting correct. And a lot of the time that involves just changing the exposure, but if I try to change the exposure of my webcam mid-video, it just crashes the webcam output. Like, it just freezes. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, if it gets a little too dark, I'll open my blinds more. I'm gonna connect my AirPods to my computer. It might mess something up bad. It might really mess up this audio, but mm, let's see. Okay, we're good. Okay. Um, okay. The way I do schoolwork heavily involves two monitors, so I'm going to be looking to the right a lot. Um, I want to be transparent with my chat GPT usage, so. Something weird is that, here's my problem. Uh, so I have, in, in standard library modules, I have like collections in math and random and, and sys, right? Uh, which are all things in the standard library that you can import into your software uh, or into your little script to uh, be able to improve functionality without having to make your own uh, like function definitions. It, like they're, they're kind of like pre-packaged uh, pre functions and like, extra functionality, you know, pun intended, uh, that you can add to your, to your script. Um, and something I'm, I'm curious about is that I was able to write a description for this and I was able to write a description for this. I even said pseudo randomly generates numbers. Um, and I was able to make a, make a little synopsis for this. But the thing that bothers me is that, um, you can't like I, I I believe I got this stuff from the Python docs, but I but then you look at the documentation, and uh, it doesn't. This module provides access to some variables used or maintained by the interpreter, and to functions that interact strongly with the interpreter. It is always available. Of course, I know what the Python interpreter is, right? But uh, I don't... <sighs> okay, this is where... Mm. Before I use ChatGPT, I'm going to look it up. Uh, this module Python, and it's gonna be so much SEO. Watch, it's gonna be so much SEO everywhere. Gah! Uh, Stack Overflow is kind of nice.
Uh, I feel like that's a little bit of a cop out. I don't know. I just don't know what it means. I don't know why this description is so interpreter heavy because from my perspective, um, so, so, so this is under the context of running arguments like on your script, right? So you, so you can run, run it in your terminal and you can, uh, run your script with arguments, uh, which is obviously useful, right? Um, but from my perspective, um, the sys, does it like, Yeah. That's the problem, you know? Like, I, I feel like, um... I'm just trying to find the best way to do this. Uh, whenever uh, a relatively new thing uh, shows up in my notes, I want to get it right the first time, so then, um... I won't have to change anything after the fact and maybe mess up some weird links I have or something. Like, I, I kind of want to get it right the first time, and so I want to make sure that um, my description of the sys module is, like, correct, and I think I'm just going to do this. Right. Sure. ChatGPT loves lists. They, they, they love doing lists over there. Um, I don't know how I'm going to articulate this. I would say yes, because it's talking like a human, and when I see text that seems like it's like a human talking to me, I this is such a weird phenomenon, I'm sure this happens to other people, but like I want to say yes because it feels like a human talking to me, but uh, truthfully I feel like I'm more, you know, number one, I don't want to use up all of my free uh, GPT-4.0 credits for today, because um, I'm not paying $20, I'm not paying two hundred and forty dollars a year for access to a to a large language model um when i could just have access to like claude 3 opus which is i i think a little better in the cases i, I would be using it in but uh i th you know i'm gonna give that one a like 
Um, cool. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, and I can turn it into a, and I can turn that into a link. That's nice. I wonder if there, something I do is sometimes I like um, copy the stuff in my notes and I give it to chat GPT and I'm like, hey, is it, I need to fix this. This was an issue I was having. Uh, so something I do sometimes is I uh, copy my stuff. What am I saying? Uh, I, I, I copy my notes and I ask ChatGPT like, hey, is this is this correct? Uh, and sometimes I get any criticism that I don't put in my notes because it, I don't agree with it. Um, but, you know, sometimes it is like, you've got this wrong. And I, I realize like, oh my God, and then I look it up and I'm like, oh my God, I was wrong, you know? Uh, um, so uh, I wish there was a way to sort of copy only... Like, because if I copy this, right, and then I paste it, look, it, you know, uh, 4.0 is definitely going to be able to parse that, right? But it's, I, I'm giving it way more tokens than it needs, which get, uses up my free credits, and I'm just trying to be economical here, you know? Uh, and it's it's fine, like, I don't really think I'm going to be doing using a lot of chat GPT today, but, um, you know, oh well. Um... Okay. Inspector control instead of interact. Okay, yeah. See, it, it, it's giving me criticism because my question implies that I wanted to give me criticism, kind of no matter the cost. Uh, when really it couldn't. It could have just not said that, and it would have been super normal and fine. Uh, yes, yes, it's helpful. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. Um, so then we can go to command line argument. I think we're going to actually get to work now. I'm going to keep this open here. Is there something I could link to for command line? Like terminal? No. Yeah, this, this is a bad note that I'm going to be linking to. Okay, sure. I, I, I know what command line means. I don't need to... Not everything has to be a link. Um, are uh, possible with the usage of the... Um, sys...
I think this might be the entirety of this note because, um, which is weird. The reason why I'm mentioning that is because that's a little weird. Um, a lot of these notes have links back to uh, Python functions and then, uh, you know, their own sort of things in here, right? Uh, I'm gonna have to, there we go. Um, into their own things in here, but because I'm not actually gonna be learning about um, any functions in the sys module, I don't think I am gonna need to have anything uh, in here. So this is just gonna be a sort of a weird short note, which a lot of my notes are weird short notes. Like if I go to a random one, like, oh, did I do that? No, that's okay, that's okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I, I don't go to this college physically, by the way, the, the, just so you know. Um, but yeah, I could go to like a, if, if I, okay, I'm gonna go to another random note see if, to see if it can illustrate my point. <laughs> yeah, so like here's like a weird short note, you know, um, for trackpad, you know. Um, okay, anyway, uh, yeah, so, yeah, okay. What is happening, dude? I didn't even realize Vim mode is off. What changed? Something something messed up about my Obsidian configuration and I don't know what it is. Like my vault's the same, right? Like I look at the graph view and everything's, uh, everything's the same, right? Yeah, everything's the same. Uh, but it sucks because, um, uh, like, I'm not in Vim mode, it changed how my linking works. My parents are home, I'm gonna mute my microphone, but it's all just very, very strange and I don't know what's changed. I'm gonna have to turn Vim mode back on. Like something in my settings messed up, like my settings reset, but nothing has changed. Like the only things I've done recently is I've um, uh, updated Obsidian through, through, through Pac-Man, you know? Uh, it's just very strange.
one thing I don't like about this is um, to get participation credit, you have to watch these animations. And sometimes they're helpful, but a majority of the time it's just like telling you what I already understand from the reading. Sometimes I do just copy-paste the examples here. Um, well, I, you're actually not able to copy-paste the ones in the blue boxes because it's like weird and it includes like weird formatting. You have to do a, uh, you have to do OCR on these, which sucks, but um, I, I kind of dislike copying these. Um, but I think I might uh, sort of vaguely copy this because I can't really think of an easy example that doesn't have to do with like name and age because that's like a very, basic sort of beginner, like learning, learning to, a name and age related thing is like a very basic sort of beginner thing to write when you're just doing an example.
Uh, you know, this doesn't even have to be an integer. Why did the example do that, right? This doesn't have to be an integer. In this specific case, it, they, they probably made it an integer because if you have a command line argument that is a number, you would probably, yeah, see, it still works without it being an integer. You would probably want that number to be an integer. Like, uh, I can't think of a reason why you would want uh, integer to be a string. Sorry, everyone. The reason why my door kept making noise is because it kept being propelled by the wind. That was very strange. This is embarrassing, but to be able to copy it into my, um, uh, to be able to, to be able to copy into my Obsidian notes, I'm going to open this in code, which is embarrassing, but you know, here I am not learning Vim. That's the one bad thing about, um, using code is that that happens whenever I paste it into Obsidian. There we go. And this isn't gonna run because it doesn't, yeah, right, yeah. Okay. Dude, there aren't even line numbers. I, I need line numbers, dude. What is going on? Yeah, show line numbers. Uh, is there anything else I that isn't here? That's so wild. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. This isn't technically correct, but I'm going to remove this white space here for the sake of the note.
This is the only completely useless note in my obsidian. I just have this in here because I think it's very funny. Um... <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for here? Despite functionally being an integer, that's incorrect, because it was functionally a string, but like despite uh, uh, appear, okay, I didn't have to unmute for this. Look at my stupid, pretentious Latin username. My bad. <laughs> And it's embarrassing too, considering there are probably, there's probably a statistically uh, higher number of Wikipedia editors who speak Latin uh, 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 compared to the, you know, average uh, sort of uh, American or the average human. Um, and so it's particularly funny how people are going to be seeing this, uh, uh, this Latin username 
and then they're gonna click on my uh, and they're gonna click on my username, and they're gonna see all I've been editing have been uh, biographies and like computer related things. And it's like, well, why does this guy ha even have a Latin username? And, you know, maybe maybe I'm just uh, being young and self conscious. Maybe I'm just worrying too much. I forgot this happens with Google Trends. I don't know what results. I, I don't know why this, this happens. It's insane. I need to open it in Chromium. It's so stupid. We're good there, but I really, I'm gonna, the same thing happened with my LibreWolf and that's why this is off, but I, I need to remove um, suggestions on the, on the search bar on Chromium. I'm gonna do that. I found it. This was not true, by the way. This was just a hallucination. I'm gonna give this one a down vote. Uh, this is not factually correct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, usage message versus, versus help message, right. It's so crazy how, how bad this is. This isn't even working properly, but it looks like pretty obviously um, help message is more popular, despite this being called usage message on Wikipedia. Maybe, I don't know if usage, oh, because it says usage. Maybe I should call this usage method, I, you, you, uh, usage me message. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Should I call my note usage me message or help message? I don't know. I don't know. Uh...
Notes like this are almost exclusively written during class. That's why they look like that. You know, I've been linking to outside sources a lot. Um, I think I might just link to the Wikipedia article here. Oh. Oh! This is all one... This is all one thing. I thought this was like, oh, this is the syntax 
uh, and then this is what's passed. So, so you're 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 passing uh, prog .py with uh, 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 with Miller twenty six. My whoops, sorry, sorry, that's embarrassing. This is crazy. I think it might be this, but it could just be uh, Tricia Miller in quotes. It could just be Tricia Miller in quotes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. 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 Because I was thinking because it's separated by a by a space, you know, maybe maybe it could be. Uh, okay. Uh, cool. Cool. I have to start getting ready for work now. Um, when I get home, I'm gonna have to do uh, 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 three uh, little labs that have to do with command line arguments and, and lists. So um, I'll do that, and then I'll just turn it in uh, probably by five, and then start getting ready for bed. Um, yeah, bye.